Okay, here we are today. We are about to install a Sentinel circuit in an older SH95. I don't know how old this thing is, but it's definitely got some years on it. Way before the Sentinel circuit was ever introduced. But uh, So here we have the Sentinel circuit. Diet Coke from breakfast this morning. McDonald's. Anyway. Each Sentinel circuit is model specific. I don't know what makes them different, but at any rate, I guess it's a different value on the bulbs. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, this is for the SH95. So whenever you order one from Danley, it'll look sort of like this, depending on which model you get, but it will have the exact model number right here so before you put it in make sure it matches the speaker you have so what we're going to do next uh, is we're going to disconnect these uh, the leads going to the compression driver and I'm going to chop the ends off and we're going to connect those two these two leads and it goes over to in from crossover and then once that's done, I'm going to put new spade connectors on the, there it is right there, on the two leads coming from out to driver. And then they will reconnect right here. As far as where we're going to mount the Sentinel circuit, on the 95, I put them on the side of the cabinet in here. I've found that the easiest way to do it, and it's real simple. Just use four wood or sheet metal screws and screw it in, and put the lid back on, and you're in business. So as soon as I'm done with uh, reconnecting everything, I'll get back to you and show you what it looks like. Okay, here we have the Sentinel circuit mounted. And just so you don't have to go to Home Depot or Lowe's and search and search for the right size. Here's what I use. Uh, this is made by Hillman. Uh, it's a sheet metal screw. Panhead Phillips. And it's an 8 by 3 quarter. And the Hillman part number is 5451. Here we are, we're back live. The Sentinel circuit has been mounted, as you saw in the last part of the video. It's now been reconnected to compression driver. And here we have where we've connected the input uh, from the crossover. And uh, there you have it. It's ready to go back. It's ready to uh, to use. And uh, I can't recommend this upgrade to an older Danley product enough. Uh, it's not a lot of money, uh, but it sure will go a long way to helping protect that guy just in case it decides to go you've got this protecting it. So I hope this video helps. And uh, if you have any questions, just leave uh, a question or two or some comments uh, below. We sure would appreciate it. Have a great day.